Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, May 12th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We have the first quarter moon visible on Wednesday, May 19th, so the beginning of our next forecast for a new moon on this Wednesday. So, yeah, we're right between there. They're falling right on the beginning and ending of these forecasting periods, so good enough. All right, let's take a look at drought. We've obviously been receiving a lot of moisture. Uh, unfortunately, the site uh, that this data comes from has gone down. It's been down for a few days, and I'm, it just does not even load. It just times out. So this is last week's map. This is last week's national map. And I did find a secondary source with slightly different coloration of the drought levels to show today's state of things. So it's kind of hard to see, but we have no drought around here still, and ex that no drought region is expanded a little closer to Wyoming. Northeastern Colorado now has a no drought area. And then across the uh, foothills and eastern side of the Rockies, we have a lessening of the drought. So I'll go back and see a little different changes. Some kind of severe drought right in there and then that's gone. So it is definitely getting better. We have received another inch or more after this so it'll just keep getting better from there. So taking a look at the station level rainfall totals up to 7 a.m. Monday we had just under a tenth of an inch around Longmont. We had under a quarter inch in most places except up in the mountains around Boulder. But by Tuesday morning, we had pretty significant water. Uh, we had three quarters of an inch or so, and about the same around Boulder. My backyard running gauge got about 0.8 total. Taking a look at snow, of course, we did get a coating. It came down with sleet, snow, grapple, came just about everything frozen at some point. Didn't build up much with warm ground, but uh, there was a half inch inch three inches on the north side of Long Island. Around Boulder of the mountains is two to four inches but right around Boulder it was much less. So water total for the last week is really significant like I said it's great. We've got a widespread half inch to two inches over much of the eastern mountains and plains. Taking a look at the next 10 days. I don't know why that's pink but the high temperature normal line is pink. Uh, we're going from 70 to 74 degrees as a normal, so things are really warming up quickly. We are in spring, heading for summer. Normal low temperature, 41 to 45. And I think the rule of thumb, if I've not said it before, is that you can turn on sprinklers after Mother's Day. So we should be good to go now. We've had significant snow at the uh, end of the month in May. We've had five inches or more happen in that week historically and we've had a measurable amount of snow in the first week of June but that doesn't mean the temperatures are exceptionally low so it's really hard to get a hard freeze that would damage pipes at this point. Looking at precipitation, that's the departing storm. We have a little bit of a uh, chance of uh, showers or maybe a wandering thunderstorm come Wednesday afternoon just because there is so much moisture around and the trough is not too far away. We have a couple days it's pretty dry and then we start to see this pulse pattern. And when you see this, especially in the spring and summer, that means there's moisture around and daytime heating is the missing ingredient to make the atmosphere destabilize and give us thunderstorms. So we'll take a look at that. But for the weekend it's dry, it's warm, it's going to be beautiful. We have this big ridge uh, just over the state, could even maybe draw that blue line a little bit further west. There's a west coast and east coast trough and not much beyond that. So let's take a look at how this progresses over the next 10 days. Going from Thursday into the weekend, we have this ridge moving in. Really nice weather. <laughs> Here comes the trough down the west coast. It becomes another cutoff. This is the pattern we've had for more than a month now. So you get these cutoff lows that then roll eastward, but it's getting, oh, sorry about that. It's getting warmer. And so 
with the track of this thing being a little further south, we're not going to see as much cold or persistent rain. It's going to be the afternoon uh, storm variety because it's just bringing moisture in. There comes a ridge again at the end of next weekend. So let's take a look at these temperatures. This is the near surface departure from normal. Now normal is much higher than it's been a month or two ago. So it's not overly cold. And there was a flash of thunderstorms. You see all those little cells? There it is again. There's afternoon thunderstorms cooling down the air locally. And there it is again for the next day. Pulse of thunderstorms move on. There's another pulse. And then we're back to the beginning. So let's just do that one more time. We'll play through that up to May 20th now. So give this a moment to play through. You can see the repeating thunderstorm pulses. All right, back to the 12. There's our departing cool air. And the warmth for the weekend coming in. There's Friday at noon. There's a chance of thunderstorms. And there's Saturday at noon, chance of afternoon thunderstorms. And like that. It's pretty fun to see the, the model trying to pick up on that. So this is a map of precipitatable water. This is how much water is in the atmosphere. And the greens are above normal amounts of moisture in the atmosphere and the browns are below normal. You can see that by Saturday we have a pretty good plume of moisture coming from the Pacific and the Gulf that's being drawn in around this low with the upper level low coming in and it just holds on into next week. You see the moisture just keeps uh, funneling in, kind of pressing up against the east side of the Rockies. Some of this moisture being pulled in out here gets the western side so Western slope should get some more precipitation as well, at least better chances. Off into next week, it just keeps on uh, bringing moisture in. So let's put all that together for future radar. And we're looking into Thursday noon. And nothing into the weekend until the thunderstorms start popping on Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Off they go. There's Sunday, Saturday night. There's Sunday night, thunderstorms moving on. Thunderstorms again for Monday night. There's Tuesday night's thunderstorms. So this is going to be fun. This is this is a pattern that we're used to seeing uh, in spring and summer around here. And when we have a healthy moisture source like we do right now, it's a great source of uh, moisture and it doesn't ruin your entire day. By Saturday, we do have a chance of convection around the area, so the light green from the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, shows that thunderstorms are possible, that we can get convection. Uh, the atmosphere will be unstable that day. The marginal risk of severe, so probably hail and damaging winds and thunderstorms, is confined to the far eastern and southeastern plains and out into Kansas, Oklahoma, Panhandle. It's close enough that they're usually kind of conservative two days out, but we may see this back up. It all depends on where a dry line will set up on the plains, and sometimes it just, you have to wait for the uh, subtle variation of the atmosphere to shake out to know where that will be. So if you take a look at Longmont Leader, uh, I will update there daily to uh, keep an eye on the severe risk. So the GFS, which as we've seen, has been very wet for the last month, more so than was justified by the storms that came. Does see, over the next 10 days, a lot of moisture. This is a big old bunch of thunderstorms right there. I think we saw that in one frame, a big uh, yellow and red coloration in the future radar. Uh, so I'd see some big thunderstorm uh, next week out there on the plains, but it's random, pretty random with where thunderstorms pop. So don't put any, don't go out there and put buckets out to collect water. It's, it'll happen someplace, uh, but not in any particular place. But look at the foothills. They do get a lot of moisture out of this. Since we're getting so warm, uh, snow over the next 10 days is confined to the mountains. And just maybe one morning we might have something bring snow down into Boulder, but I, I'm not too interested excited about that. I don't think that's going to happen. All right, so take a look at the next seven days. <clears throat> We're looking at the 60s and 70s, cooling down with the trough approaching, that cutoff low approaching Sunday Monday, 
but not exceptionally hot or cold at all. There's a better chances of precipitation later in the week. So check out Longmont Leader for frequent weather updates and local news. LongmontLeader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.